This is Teacher Technology Podcast with Jason Sulliscar. Hi, this is Jason Sulliscar, and this is a tutorial on how to add our students into ThinkCentral.com. The first thing we're going to do is go to the site. The second thing is we're going to look at our drop-down menus here and make sure we have the right ones selected, California, Covina Valley, and our school. And then we're going to make sure this box is checked so uh, next time we go to the website it will automatically select these defaults uh, so we don't have to do them again. Our username is our first initial, last name. And then our password is going to be CVUSD if this is your first time logging in. If this is your first time logging in, it, type in CVUSD and then it will prompt you to change your password on the next page. So you might want to think of a password that you will remember later on. So you might want to pause the video at this point and then catch up to us after you set your password. For the rest of us who've been in here before, let's go ahead and log in with your password. And so we come to this interface here that has lots of stuff on it. And so today we're going to go to classes and students. And we're going to add a class. So go ahead and select add a class. We're going to give our class a title, so maybe math class, and select our grade level. And then we're going to give it a description, maybe you level students, however you set up your room, if there's a description you want to put in there, go ahead and do that. And then click Save and Add Students. I'm not going to do that because I've already created a class back here, so I'm going to back up a little bit. So I've selected tutorial class. But once you hit that save and add students, your page should look exactly like this. So you have your class, your grade level, and your description. We're going to move on to the resources tab. This is uh, um, the tabs where we select the, the resources we want the students to access. Um, so I have all of them selected because I want all my students to go to, to those resources. Then we're going to move roster over to the roster tab. And here we have all of our students listed. And to make things easier for myself, these are all the students that are in the school. But I only want fourth grade students, so I'm going to select the fourth grade in my drop down menu right here. And now I can go ahead and add my students. I don't want to do one at a time. I can do that, it will take me much longer. But what I want to do is a little trick here is called the, the command. We're going to select the command button. And that way we can go ahead and select our different students using our command, holding it down, and using our mouse. So now I can go ahead and select these all the students that are in my class. Once I've selected all the students, I can go ahead and go ahead and click add. So I've selected all the students. I have all my students in here. Obviously, you're going to have more students, but in this case, I'm only going to do a few. And then the other thing you want to make sure is that you have your name in here too. You want to make sure your teacher's name is in there. Um, it should have been at the beginning, but you just want to make sure to double check. So once I've done that, I've added all my students, I'm going to click Save. I'm going to save my students. And there I have it. My students are already logged into my class. If you have any questions, you can email me at mrsoliscar at gmail.com. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. Thank you.